Our top story this morning, though, the U.S. government has unveiled tough new sanctions on two men within the highest reaches of North Korea's ballistic missile development program. The Treasury Department's announcement is just the latest in the Trump administration's maximum pressure campaign against Pyongyang. Park so Yan starts us off. The U.S. Treasury Department's Office of Foreign Assets Control imposed sanctions on two key North Korean officials on Tuesday for their reported involvement in Pyongyang's ballistic missile program. The department says Kim Jong-sik, a veteran rocket scientist, is a key figure responsible for advancing the program to a point where the regime is successfully testing ICBMs capable of reaching the U.S. mainland. He was also involved in helping the North transition from liquid to solid fuel engines. The other man on the list is Lee byung chul a former senior Air Force commander who oversees the regime's ballistic weapons development program. Rhea and Kim accompanied North Korean leader Kim Jong-un during the launch of the Hwasong-14 on July 4th and 28th, as well as September's launch of the Hwasong-12, which flew over Japan. In a sign of their importance within the regime, the U.S. Treasury says both men were apparently invited by Kim Jong-un to travel with him on his private plane. The sanctions mean any assets the two officials hold in the United States can be confiscated and prohibits Americans from interacting with them. They will also be banned from overseeing transactions made in U.S. dollars. Watchers say the punitive measures make up a key part of the Trump administration's efforts to resolve the North Korean issue through intense sanctions and pressure. Park Soyeon, Arirang News.